Welcome to a brief tutorial on how to register a class or group for San Jose Public Library's Beanstack online learning platform. Whether using a PC, laptop, or mobile device, the registration process is the same. So let's get started. To begin, open your browser and visit sjpl.beanstack.org. You'll see two options, to register as an individual or family, or to register as a class or group. Let's click the second option. When registering a class or group, there are two ways to set up your account. Let's explore both. Logging, reading, and activities all at the same time is useful for classes or groups that only read together. Logging, reading, and activities individually is useful for classes or groups where readers also read by themselves. For our first example, we'll register a group where we'll always read together. You'll be asked to enter your group information, including the default age, which will determine the default age group for reading and activities, and how many readers are in your group. The minimum number of readers in a group is five. Next, you'll be asked to enter your information, including a username you'll remember, your contact information, and a password. If you have a library card, you can enter it here, but it's not required. You'll also want to select the library you go to most often or that is closest to you, and then register the group. Now that we've created our group account, you'll notice at the top left that we can click on our group name and add a new group, or reader, or edit reader. In this case, that reader is our group as a whole. This is also where we change how many readers are in a group and the default age. Because we chose all at one time when registering our group, at the top of the page, when we click Log Reading and Activities, we can log reading or activities we did together, and they will count for our entire group at once. Now let's choose individually instead, so our readers can complete reading and activities on their own, as well as in a group. After filling out our group name, default age, number of group members, and the rest of the information, we'll register our group. Because we chose individually, if we click on the current reader and select Change Readers, we'll see a list of all our group members. Because we entered that there are 10 readers in our class or group, 10 users were created. Since we want to personalize them to the members of our group, let's click on the first reader and then, from the top left, select Edit Reader. We can change the basic information, including their name and age. After pressing Save, we can then go back to the top left and change readers again. We can then select the next reader, click Edit Reader, and update their name and age. After that, we can repeat this process until all 10 of our group members have their personalized information. We can also add more readers if we want. And if their age is different from the default we set, we may see more programming options if they qualify for a different age group. Since we chose individually when registering our group, when we log reading and activities, if we select a single reader, we can log days and enter books or hours of reading for that specific reader or activities that reader participated in on their own. However, we can also select all readers to log that we read or completed activities together, and everyone in our class or group will get credit. To access more options or to log out of your account, click on the gear icon at the top right and select an option or sign out. Now that you've created your San Jose Public Library Beanstack account for your class or group, you can continue to keep track of your reading and learning throughout the year, as well as participate in special limited time programs. To find out more, visit sjpl.org, sjpl.beanstack.org, sjpl.org slash summer or contact your local San Jose Public Library branch.